Have you ever found yourself comparing yourself to somebody else? Or have you ever been in a perfectly good mood and then that judge, I always feel like my judge is on my shoulder, starts going, you should have a bigger place. You should da 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 da. If this has ever happened to you, stay tuned. I'm going to share a personal story about <laughs> my struggles with my um, critic, judge, peanut gallery, whatever you want to call it. So hi, my name is Elaine Williams, and I am a coach and a storytelling coach and a camera coach and a speaker and a comedian. And I love helping heart-centered, conscious business owners People just like you get comfortable on camera and be able to tell their story and help more people and have the impact they know they want to make. So I just wanted to share something because, you know, a lot of times I share anecdotes about my clients and their growth, but I also um, talk a lot about being authentic and vulnerable. And so I am going to be really vulnerable here and tell you what happened to me um, earlier this week. So I had... A friend visiting for a couple of days and I love having people come visit because it forces me to clean I'm not a slob by any means but I don't dust or mop you know like like I, I think I'm you know I do laundry I clean out things I sweep and vacuum but I'm not like uh, you know going to all the corners and so when somebody comes in town it's always an opportunity to really you know clean and clear it's springtime so anyway so I'm you know I'm, I was having fun getting ready and and uh, excited to have company and um, and do some spring cleaning too. And I noticed on the second day of my friend being here, I woke up just like, you know, just really self-critical and feeling uh, shame. Like I live um, in the bottom part of my house and it's basically like one long studio. And, you know, my voice was saying, oh, you know, I wish you lived in your, you know, the second floor apartment and it has hardwood floors and these big, beautiful windows and great light. And, you know, you should be having this and you should have a bigger kitchen with more um, counter space and you should, you know, and I, and I realized I was comparing myself to this, what I call the ideal woman. and. I share this because every woman I know has struggled with this. Um, friends, acquaintances, clients, and students, coworkers, colleagues, every woman I know has struggled with this, of, of comparing herself at some point to this magical ideal woman that's sort of a combination of Oprah and Katie Couric and Martha Stewart and some blue apron skinny spokeswoman. Like, whatever you're doing, you should be able to do it looking prettier, feeling thinner and sexier, and and smiling, and your makeup is supposed to be perfect. Like, the messages that we get from the media and advertising a lot of times makes me feel like I don't measure up, I'm not good enough, and I know that a lot of women especially struggle with this. I think men do, too. Um, but I think we're targeted even more in advertising to, you know, you should be this. And I know that there's, that's one of the main blocks against people putting themselves out there on video and doing things on a bigger platform. There's a fear of looking foolish, not looking good enough, saying something stupid or wrong. I'm being made fun of. There's, there's tremendous visibility blocks for most people. And I was laughing because I'm used to being like out, out making people laugh, being goofy. Um, I can tell um, intimate, vulnerable stories to thousands of people. But when you come into my house, that's scary for me, you know? So we all have our thing. And, you know, what a gift that I caught it because I was really spiraling into that funk of, you should be further along financially. And, you know, if you hadn't made this mistake in real estate and if you hadn't done this project that didn't pan out and, you know, that what if or if only, which we all have. But I'm sharing this because I don't, I don't want you to stay there and I certainly don't want me to stay there. First of all, it is not fun 
Second of all, it's a game you will never win. Like there's no cheese down that tunnel. Debbie Ford used to say that a lot. I, I, I studied with her for five years. I did all of her coaching certifications and she, it was, she was a really powerful spiritual teacher. I learned a lot about my dark side and shadow work and it was amazing, but she used to say that a lot. Like there's no cheese down that tunnel. And so, you know, the next time you find yourself comparing yourself to other people, I want you to stop, take a breath, shake it off. You know, dogs shake it off. We can shake it off. Really, the only person you should ever be comparing yourself to is you. And, you know, am I, am I taking risks? Am I stretching myself? Am I growing as a human being? Am I trying to learn new things? Am I a better human being than I was six months ago, a year ago? That is the only person you should ever be comparing yourself to. And, you know, and I, if, if you're a guy watching this, you know, you have a lot of pressure too. You've got to be strong and, and, you know, and passionate and, and, uh, but not, not too passionate, not like crying and weak passionate. You've got to be strong and, you know, and I think the way we're socialized is crazy for men and women, but, you know, I think there's a lot of ideal man pressure, but I think there's even more ideal woman pressure. And so if this resonates with you, please leave a comment below and tell me if you've, um, you know, been able to catch it and what you've been able to do about it. Because, you know, perfect isn't helping anybody. Like the world needs your message, your service, your coaching, your healing, your nonprofit, like whatever your thing is, we need you. We need you now more than ever. I don't care what your political views are, but we need positive people, people who want to make a difference in the world, who want to have a bigger impact. We need you. And so if you are waiting to be perfect or waiting because you're comparing yourself to God knows who, stop it. Seriously, stop it. Like it, it's, it's a game you're never going to win. So why not play a bigger game of like, it's time to to step out into the spotlight. It's time to get comfortable on camera. It's time to work on my messaging so that I can reach the conscious, amazing people who want to work with me or who can help me with my mission to feed the homeless. Like whatever your thing is, be a big sister, be a big brother, um, work for CASA. I mean, there's so many important things that we all can be doing. And I know it makes me crazy when I find myself comparing myself to this ideal person that I will never be. And you know, all of those TV personalities, we have to remember that they have a whole crew and Photoshop and editors, you know? And so I just, anyway, I just wanted to share that because I caught myself and uh, you know, perfect doesn't help anybody. So I, I wanted to share that story with you because um, I think uh, maybe you can relate. And if you can, please, please, hit reply. Let me know. I, I, I think we, the more we can talk about stuff, the more we can like move on and, and step into the bigger picture of the difference we want to make. And speaking of that, if you happen to live in the New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area, I am doing a fabulous free workshop tomorrow from noon to one at Athletic Genius, which is 695 Bloomfield Avenue in Montclair, New Jersey, literally a block from Whole Foods and a block uh, right across the street from the police station. And uh, Holly Hargrove has been kind enough to give us her beautiful, beautiful space. It is the sexiest spin studio and I spin all over the place. And I'm going to be teaching camera tips 101, how to, you know, the best angle, the lighting, what to wear, what to avoid, basic makeup tips. Because when you feel your most attractive, then you feel more able to connect and help the people you're meant to help. So we're going to be talking about storytelling and camera tips 101 and any other things I can squeeze in as much as we have time for. And I think it's going to be a pretty intimate group, but you never know that it's not a huge studio. So I invite you to get there early. And if you have questions, you can text me at 646 526 three five two two and once again it's tomorrow noon friday april 20th 
at Athletic Genius, which is on 695 Bloomfield Avenue in Montclair, New Jersey. I would love to see you there. This would be a perfect time to step into your spotlight and get some basic, basic 101 camera skills that can actually help you make the impact you know you're meant to make. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you on the screen and tomorrow soon. Okay, bye.